Hi guys, this is Dandelion Song, so we're back for part two of the Jefferson Memorial and the Pope numbers in um, Washington, D.C., and today is 9-11, and um, I wanted to show you these numbers of the Jefferson Memorial and also the coordinates, um, but also I have a little story because I was up at midnight, um, actually till 1 a.m., recording this, the first version of this, which is Screencast 8, it won't publish it, so I have to use Screencast 1.0 or something else. Well, but when I went to bed, so I, I went to bed finally, and I was reading, I looked over at the clock, and it was uh, 119, so I realized, oh, because, you know, when you do these numbers, these numbers are actually uh, frequencies, they're actually almost like, 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 um, they're actually, they, it's, it, if you think of creation as everything is frequency, therefore everything is a reflection of the creator, everything is intelligent and alive, and has consciousness, whatever the level of consciousness, then numbers would also have in con consciousness. And um, then if you are studying or um, generating a magnetic um, attraction to numbers from within yourself, you're going to see those numbers because they're going to pop up for you. And that does happen to me. Well, the other thing that happened, so then all of a sudden I was looking at the clock and I was thinking, oh yeah, okay. So... And then I realized, oh, it's 9-11. So I, at one a, at one nineteen a.m., I was looking at the clock and realizing that it was 9-11 that day. And I was, and then right at that time, a whole bunch, I'm next to a busy street, a whole bunch of um, police uh, cars went flying by. They usually drive by like 80 or 90 miles an hour when they're, and then just sirens are blaring. And I thought, interesting, 9-11, 9-11, and we have police activity here. So I don't know what that is about. I couldn't find anything referencing that this morning. Hopefully nothing too bad. But I wanted to show you here at the Jefferson Memorial because this is, um, I originally thought that if there was um, a, a, a false flag assassination that it would come from this direction because I had falsely remembered that this was in line with Georgia Guidestones. It's actually not. But I took out a protractor and I measured this angle and it is a 41 degree angle right here so that is the number of, of blindness and this would be the 44 degree heading and this I showed you is um, it's a zero degree heading from here so if, at first I thought okay there this is where the you know this is where the patsy is gonna be that, but it's still worth looking at. So let's, um, I wanted to look here at the numbers. I wanted to show you, first of all, that we have the Bride of Christ number here in the acreage of the Jefferson Memorial. And then also, as we scroll down here, I wanted to show you these dates that pop up. For one thing, this, this statue is 19 feet, which is a raw number. And this is, this is a 13. But here, I just want to read this to you. This, the prominent words which are inscribed in a frieze above the dome. I want to do a video just on domes. Domes themselves are so symbolic and have such a depth. People think it's just architecture. It's not. It's not just architecture. It's really pretty amazing. It kind of, all of this, all of this stuff kind of gave me a really exciting new view of the world. And I hope that it does that for you too. All right. Well, so Anyway, it says, I have sworn upon the altar of God eternal hostility against every form of tyranny over the mind of man. Well, I don't know, but this, this statement here m makes it seem as though um, a hostility against the form of tyranny, uh, against tyranny over the mind of man, which, the, you know, there's no better example of that than the Pope and Obama, who are going to be together... I believe at the Washington Monument they're going to tour that they're going to I think they're going to tour it you know I could be wrong but it, an act of hostility would make a lot of sense coming from this direction and this sentence is taken from a letter written by Jefferson supposedly on this date and this number comes up again later and I can't remember where because I have to recreate this video from memory but we need to remember this number because it shows up um, later but here's a 923, and the 923 shows up everywhere, really. 
but also in the Pope's birth numbers. So here I think they're making a 101 gateway reference um, that they received 101 entries to make this, to select a sculptor for the planned statue for the Jefferson Memorial, and they chose six finalists. So that's a little bit like um, 101 and 6. We had the 106 number show up a lot in the, in the um, Philadelphia train wreck, and it does show up again in these numbers in the video that I did last night that I'm going to try to recreate here. So just taking a quick look at these, uh, at these numbers. These are gateway numbers. This is a 107. So this does kind of match the 101 plus 6 of the sculptors that, was, that were... Um, mentioned that I just mentioned and this is a a 104 now I'll show you um, Thomas Jefferson's numbers and there's a 144 in his numbers right in the English gematria area of his numbers and I didn't read it in his um, I will pull up his Wikipedia and I didn't read it I didn't read the whole thing um, thoroughly but I remember that just studying somewhere else reportedly he was concerned with his status as being the elect at the end of his life and so I thought it was interesting that the 144 shows up in his name and that they call they that's part of their you know disnified story of him so this is the divergent way number we see this number the 77 down by the Georgia Guidestones and it's also in the Roanoke area and there, there's a 77 highway or a road with a with a number in um, Google Earth almost anywhere that anything happens here it uh, says that he, this this lines up with it. He died on on um, July the fourth of July, and three of the first five presidents did die on the fourth of July, and that his name matches that. To me, says that this is a construction. However, what I have noticed is that with the Freemasons, they they're they they have dates. First, they have dates in their birthday. They have dates in their gematria of their name that predict their death. So I, um, I'm, I would love to know whether that's a natural arising or whether it's just like he died on another day and they just attributed it to this day or if they actually killed him or what went on. But here's your 144,000 gateway. If we come down here, I just wanted to point out that these numbers match the New World Order. A few other things here. Let's go all the way down. I wish they had like a separate category for, I don't know, like um, serious, <laughs> serious associations and then kind of like, you know, a scale uh, as it gets stranger and stranger would be posted on a scale so that you can kind of like um, filter them out. Sorry I'm stammering you guys. I haven't had any tea this morning. I should probably have waited for the video but I was afraid I was going to forget everything. Okay so here we are on the Washington Monument site and this is the 106 that I was referring to. Now this is a 106 mirror and on the Amtrak train, it had 106 on each corner of its head, looking like little horns, like as if as if it was a seven that was a horn. And if you think of the track as a worm with the little horns on it, that looks exactly like some of these hieroglyphs of these ancient pharaohs. And I don't think that's a coincidence. I want to show you the seven seven right here in the coordinates. We could we could take a microscope and look at these coordinates. There are. There's a lot of strange things to see. I use, you see, I'm sure, the, the 929. When they draw out the decimals this far, there's, there's no really good reason to do that other than to just show you the numbers. So this, is, this shows you, maybe something's going to happen there today. I actually don't see a 15 here, though, but to show the year, sixes. Sixes are code for 15, though. But, so here we have a 69, which is the free number, 6.9. And this number is also in the height here, 169. The 169th day of the year is 618, and a 6 is an F, and an 18 is an R, and those are the first two letters of free. 
and the 6-9 is the, is the keystone of the Freemason arch. Okay, so they have a six, a 6 there, they have a 6 here in the form kind of of a 26, but also it could be the 15 for this um, 20, this 29 now. Um, 29 would be the day after the Feast of Tabernacles, and I think if their plans go according, if their plans go according to plan, um, they will have chaos on the surface, and they will have the leaders in the bunkers by this time, and po you know possibly we'll have an announcement by NASA about either a, co a fake comet or a real comet. I did dissect in detail the two major comet movies, Armageddon and Deep Impact. Those are overlay movies. They're supposed to be like two sides, two seals of a dollar bill. You're supposed to overlay them over each other, and I did that. And my diagnosis of that, I wasn't making videos at the time, and I also I don't, I think I know more now, but I still think that my diagnosis of that was valid, and I'd have to go back and watch everything again to change my mind. But it, there was a lot of code in there that those were gonna, that that comet was gonna be nuclear, and it was gonna be a nuke, a fake nuclear comet, and any attempt to uh, cause it to go off its course was going to be fake. They weren't gonna send up anything to to try to move it. And that also lends credence to the idea that they're not going to send anything up because the comet is fake. And the reason why I think that is when I look through a movie and I see domes, to me that that is code for a false a nuclear event. Like it's the, like the we need more words for describing hoaxes, but it, it would be a nuke used as something else, like a nuke used as an earthquake or a nuke used as a comet. So I believe that's what the plan is. They be, and if, they're, if they want to go ahead with that plan, I think they're going to give you three days notice, just like they did. There was a comet that was announced um, right around the time of the Philadelphia train wreck, and they gave you three days notice, you know, which is ridiculous. And also, not only did they give you three days notice, but then they said, well, we don't know. We don't know how close it's going to come, which you know, they just, uh, they know, they know. So just, that was a, that was a, a foreshadowing of what they're going to do. Excuse me. Okay, so we have, I just want to point out that this 9-2 and 9, again, is a, it's a 9-11 inward-facing mirror. Do you see this? So if you added all this, this would be four ones, and actually would be five ones all together. So I just wanted to show that to you. This number is the is the number of the lowest servant. This is the look number. This is a, also a comet. Uh, they code comets with this number. Here's an 11. Um, um, let's. Oh, I saw over here. The cornerstone was laid on July 4th, 1848. There's a few. There's a, there's tons of strange stuff about this. I don't want to get into everything about this. But one thing I did scroll down and find this was an older picture of the area. Let me come down here, and which they did not have. This is the this is the beehive that they have at the 220 level, showing that the worker bees are it, that's holiness to the Lord. And this is the dome, and these are the four corners of the earth. This is the um, the dome shape of our world. It's coded and hidden in many places while they teach you a different story. But here's what I wanted to. This is um, this shows the 50 flags, the screening center, and here's what I wanted to show you. This is from 2003, and they have a different outline on the ground here. They don't have the fish. They don't have this eyeball that looks this way. They don't have the Vesica Pisces, and so um, I'm not sure how to find when they changed the drawing here. But I bet you that would tell us a lot if we knew those numbers then we would have a better idea of what the plan is. All right, well, there's a lot of depth here, and there's just a few more things I want to mention. Um, so if this, is the, if this is the bottom of the cross over here, and this is the top of the cross pointing to the west, or the dying sun, then the, the Lincoln Memorial is also, of and I've, I have looked at the Lincoln Memorial up close before, um, but this is also very symbolic. And of course, we see... A 23rd Street running right through the Lincoln Memorial, which would be, I guess, the center of 
um, this Horus Senior or Osiris's head, and he's supposedly the god of the underworld killed by Set. And I think that according to the religion, they are trying to resurrect him. I don't, I don't know what all this means, but I think they're trying to resurrect this guy, or they're expecting him to resurrect. Um, but I just want to point out the symbolism of they have like this thought tube or this like if this was a cartoon he would have a thought bubble right here that's the Arlington Cemetery and I have done all these numbers there's a bunch of really strange distances and numbers here and of course this number is a kill number and the, along the 244th meridian um, KC with Enter the Stars has shown that is, a, is a, an assassination um, ley line basically but I wanted to show you this 23rd Street real quick, and then the name of the, the creator of this Lincoln Memorial is Henry Bacon, and his name is right here, and this, there's also a, um, a heading that I wanted to show you here. I actually don't remember what it is. I just remember that it was interesting. And a precise distance, too. Are you ever making a video and then your thing won't click? Okay, yeah, 32. So we have a mirror. You see the mirror. And also this is the 14, which is half of the 28. That's half of the time that the, tr that the Twin Towers were allowed to stand. Now if we draw this out, 3212. So much to see here. It's hard to not stop and explain everything. 3212. I, I don't know where, I haven't done this ahead of time, so I don't know where we're going. Uh. Tell you what, I'll stop this at, and uh, take a look and hopefully I'll find something interesting and I'll show you in a second. Let me just set it down right. 30 to 20, that's close enough. Okay, hold on. All right, well, here's the line, and it does it does go through a lot. Uh, probably there are many, many things in here. It would just take me a long time to figure this out. But So I'm kind of looking for major things because I don't know how big of a hint this is going to be. But it does go right through right to Moscow. So I don't, I don't think that's a mistake. But we can just kind of visually draw this out. Well, I think I'm going to let that thread drop, but I just wanted to show you that that goes to Moscow. All right, back over here in Washington, D.C. In case you haven't seen my videos, you can go back and see um, find them, but they, I just wanted to point out really quick that here's the fish that they drew. I guess it wasn't there before. Here's the belly button of um, Horus or Osiris or Horus Sr., and I have some good videos about this, and here is a scorpion. I believe this is a scorpion that bit... Um, Horus Jr. actually, and then he was saved by Thoth. And these are all symbolic stories. I think one of the major um, brain farts that academics and people have is to is to think that these are actually, you know, like superheroes or characters. And I think they're actually concept concept symbolism concept symbol stories. It may have been that that's how Egyptians tell stories. It may be that, you know, they just, uh, maybe because they didn't have, a, you know, fluid writing, that they, that they had a way of relating their concepts this way as if their concepts were people, kind of like how we um, take an animal and we pr act like a um, it's a person, you know, that kind of concept where you, so they would take a concept and act like it's a person. What's that word? I can't remember the word. Okay. So that, that would be the same thing with um, the Hindu gods too. Those are probably concepts. And then when, when we are, when we say that they're demonic or that they are, uh, you know, that it's actual person, I think that we're just displaying our ignorance just to confirm that so that then the Freemasons can say, look, these guys are ignorant. You know, we're not, we can't teach them anything. Oh, I found, I, there's a quote I wanted to show you. So this is why they would think that you're not worth teaching because 
they first of all they t they they brainwash you into acting like a fool believing their propaganda and then spouting you know inanities with their propaganda document tucked under your arm and then so then that then they think you're a fool or you display that you're a fool and then they say that then they have in the bible here and it's a 923 speak not in the ears of fools for he will despise the wisdom of thy words so then then this comes true do you see <laughs> it's like it's pretty poetic actually and i was just going to show you i'm working on the london skull it's just not my top priority now i'm a little um drawn into the what's happening in washington dc right now but this is like 53 different composites to make this picture of london and i'll show you the skull eventually so because this is a george washington monument we'll take a quick look at him and also his freemason his freemasonry background hopefully i'll try to do that really fast well i just popped this father of his country into the gematria counter and this is what i would call a 923 or else you could say that is a 2315 but that is um it's just interesting that a date pops right up i'm, I'm flipping this top to bottom because that's how they do it as above so below and f for your frequency hypnotic um encoding it does happen to match Hillary. So she's she's going to have a founding father's type of vibe and that they create that and they use it to ha cause the commoners to feel like, oh, this is she's a statesman or she belongs here. You know, I, I have a founding father's type of feeling for her. And then you don't realize how the numbers are speaking to you subconsciously and and how it's being used against you. So I just want to show you the July 4th that's in the Washington Monument and here it is backwards. And here this is this is like a 9 it's like a 924 and it's also a 911 which means then it could be a 923 because the 911 is 923. If 911's on the Julian calendar it's a equivalent to 923 on the uh, Gregorian calendar. Yeah, I don't think we're going to find it. The West Potomac Park where they have, this is where the Jefferson Memorial is. So I wanted to show you that they have um, a 76, Spirit of 76, and, uh, and an 11 gateway. And then this number is the number that I often talk about. And I believe this number is going to be very important again in the next few days. This is the same as 915. It's the same as 96. And it, they also, and it, these aren't my rules. I'm just following what they do. This is the same. This is an anagram of phi because it's also the 16, the 1618 because the one is on the other side of the decimal point. So this would be the, the 618, 0.618 of the first three digits after the decimal point of phi. And this is important because of the 816 coding that we have seen in the Georgia Guidestones of Dillon Storm Roof and the, the two skeletons under the Hoover Dam. Now this number also, the 196th day is July 15th, which is the start of Jade Helm. We have the end of Jade Helm coming up on 915, which is the nine, which is the nine, um, 15, yeah, that's a 915 date. So these are all encoded in here. So I wanted to show this to you. The other thing to say about, the, okay, so the 196 day is, is July 15th. That's a 715. So the seven is a G and the 15 is an O. So those are the first two letters of God. This is how it works. So Solomon's key is in the esoteric associations here. And September 15th, written out, is in the esoteric connections here. Th for me, this is spooky when they write it out and it, and it clues in like that. I'm Lord Voldemort. That one's a little weird. Oh, excuse me. It looks like this isn't the, Washi the, the Jefferson Memorial. That it is the, looks, it looks, the view of West Potomac Park left of the Washington Monument looks like it's over here by the Lincoln Memorial. 
I'm gonna, yeah, looking north from West Potomac. No, actually, maybe I'm right. Sorry, I'm confused about this. Hold on, let me try to figure this out. Oh, I think it actually is the whole tidal basin here. Maybe this is all of it, and that's why it's confusing that it, that the, it includes all of it. This picture reminds me to bring up about all of the water here, and that they chose this site. It was a very damp site when they when they created wanted to create the Washington um, the Reagan Center right here. This is a, they created it in the shape of a throne, which is the name of ISIS. I guess they had to do some special engineering for the basement because it's so wet here. Now Washington means originally it means Wessington, which means to steep that you steep in the water, and I think that the people who who are of the religion these these ancient religions and they don't teach us what what this is all about but i think that they see it as sacred a sacred mound coming out of the water is a is to them a sacred idea and that's why they built they, there's actually seven hills they're a little they're um i don't think they're real hills but there's seven hills of washington that have to do with the seven hills um that have to that are symbolic of the pleiades but I'm just bringing that to you. This is why we have so much water around here. And they've also renamed these things. There's a Tyburn Creek here, which they named to reflect um, the Tiber Creek in Rome. And that's because this is a Roman city state. So they are, it's like a little, it's like a little Vatican. All right, so here, let's talk about this ancient masonry um, idea of the hidden hand of the men of Jabulun. And this is the name, this is the composite name of the Masonic God or the Omnific Royal Arch Word can only be given in groups of three and their right hands are then to be raised above their heads or they give at low breath the word uh, Jabulun Jehovah God. <clears throat> the greatest but most terrible moment in the life of a Mason, the three supreme officials of the lodge with three separate keys unlock the wooden box of the secret of secrets and give to him to read a slip of paper upon which is written the name of God whose follower he was Jobelin. So here he talks about over my many years of, ex of exposing the lies and evils of Freemasonry the order temple that um, here let me cross that let's move this over sorry the Ordo Templi Orientis and Rosicrucians and other treacherous cultic secret societies. I have been challenged by many Masons. How dare you say such things about Masonry? I'll have you know I'm a Christian. Um, there's no such, and there's nothing in the faith that would not be acceptable to the Christian faith. Well, this is a ridiculous argument for the reasons I explained earlier. I, I want to remind everyone that Yahshua was not Christian, and Yahshua's name was not Jesus. What about uh, Jabulun? Then I asked him about the name of the sacred God revealed in the royal arch de um, degree ritual. That is, I asked him about Jabulun, and usually I hear a long, in uninterrupted stutter or simply a gasping sound. Generally, that ends the discussion right there. So it's kind of ridiculous. He's accusing. All right, but if we go down here, so this is so this is what I want to show you is that. The Masonic material identifies the three composite names of this god, Jabulun, as Yah, Baal, and Osiris. So this is the main thing. I hope you're, I hope you're still listening. That because it took. I was just thinking, how does Osiris fit into this? I kind of get how Isis fits into this because she has a Mother Mary connection. But how does Osiris fit into this? So this is part of that clue. Um. So C.C. Kane, a Freemason who is also part of a group called the Brotherhood of Light, is a developer and author of an entire course on ancient masonry having to do with the spiritual significance of Mason Masonic rituals, degrees, and symbols. And he points out that the name Jabulin is masonry's grand omnific word, the name of their omnipotent deity. He further shows the significance of the name Jabulin has nine letters and is made up of three sy syllables. So of course I'm going to want to dissect this name, but first of all, let's just take a look at the gemat, the gem, uh, whoa, having a hard uh, time talking today. Someone needs to bring me some tea. Where are my assistants? Where's my research team? Oh, they're not here. I don't have a research team, but sometimes I can get my kids to bring me tea. I just do this myself. So here's the Jabulin, um numbers. 
and I think I'm going to have to do this with my um, with the way that I find the core of the word and find all the valence fields because I'm not seeing something that really jumps out at me here. However, in the simple gematria in the English, I wish they would put this at the top because I like this one much better. It equals Anthony, Jabulin, the name of the secret god, serpent, Ron Paul. I don't have any opinion about that except for that no one who's going to try to actually help people is going to make it in until the whole system is taken down. So it's not worth voting somebody in that you think because they're just going to have a gun to their head. It's going to be the same story. Stephanie, uh, Egyptian, Capricorn, the Beatles, Poseidon. Oh, I turned it off right before I said cannibalism. This is very important because it's such a major aspect of um, Catholic religion where it's cannibalism of the gods and other things too. They just don't show you everything. So the idea of being born again, according to the um, Masons, is attaining a new order of life, which means to give your life to Jebulun. And this is also reflected in the Christian church where they ask you to give your life to Jesus. Well, I'm telling you what, I bet you Jesus is the same is the, is the same guy here. So it's pretty interesting. So you guys need to set down your Bibles and, and look very carefully at things. Yahshua may have said you would be born again, but he never talked about giving your life over to anybody. So here it says, um, when he says the adept has attained a new order of life, I believe the candidate receives a counterfeit born again experience, receiving the very spirit of Lucifer into his bosom as a result of conforming to the requirements of this degree. In accepting the devil, Jab God Jabulin, this is the this is the opinion of the author, and he's making this opinion from his Bible point of view. Just want to point this out. We just we have to stay sober on this idea um, of Jabulin as the sacred name of God. The man raising rising to this level in masonry or similar sect becomes demon possessed. I think that this is possibly very true, and I think this is the same idea when you give your when you ask Jesus into your heart. Uh, I have a video, recent video, and and then a further back video about Jesus. Jesus is a as a shape shifting serpent, um, Anunnaki, God, long lived God. They're not immortal, I don't think, but they are long lived. And I think when you give your uh, your heart and control of your life over to Jesus. You're asking for trouble. And this is why we have Christians who can't think and Christians who judge and Christians who are full of anxiety and depression. And that's what happens when when you take oaths that the that the Christian church has wanted you to take. Joshua said, Don't take oaths. Alright, so demon possessed, full of the devil, headed for hell, prepared to do the most wicked and foul deeds. Now the reason why I'm going here is because there's a George Washington at the end of this story. Well, not, it's in the middle of the story, but it has to do with this sign. From from Washington to Rothschild, this has to do the hidden hand sign. For, okay, they drink wine from a human skull. That's been going back a really long time, and just, it's I guess it's something they still do. This is why we have skulls in Washington, D.C. and in London. And it's kind of a grail. It's kind of a chalice type of idea. They drink wine from a human skull. And then they then they see the dome when they tip it up. But I wanted to come here. So this is the idea that the, the hidden demon within has to do with the hidden hand. That means they are controlled by the hidden hand. And this is the sign of the hidden hand. So then this shows George Washington showing you the hidden hand. Apparently that he also has a moon, uh, something, have a, a moon symbol around his neck. This, this is not going to be the moon. This is going to be the exoplanet from the, where these gods originate from. So you can see why this is hard to sort out because there, you take two steps and there's another lie right there. And then the article says that this diamond here shows, uh, his willingness to vehemently defend his religion.
Okay, so, yeah. The feminine complement to the sun god Osiris secretly worshipped in a cult Freemasonry. That explains why we have um, Isis there. Now, if she's Egyptian, I actually think the Egyptians had a valid religion. You know, for their their religion may have been more valid than the Vatican religion that we have handed down from these crazies now. But I wasn't there in the time, and they burned, you know, the Library of Alexandria burning, uh, actually the Vatican did, burning um, 10,000 years of documents, and there's a reason why they burned that, so it would be so that they could control the religion and they could keep the truth for the very few. So that's why we need to look at what the very few are doing. Even if we don't understand it, we just have to look at it and try to figure out they're doing this and they're telling us to do different things. Hmm, well, let's look at the logic of this. Okay, I just want to show you, I, I'm sure you've seen tons and tons of hidden hands. But for me, when you see them, it get, really gives you a feeling of what is really going on here. and how widespread it is and that you know these guys are all in the same club and the commoners are not in that club and they consider themselves to be descendants of these gods or the people that they call gods okay well since the Pope is coming to the White House let's take a, a look at the White House again I, know, I knew this before, but then when I look at it, it pops out at me that this is a 106. Um, and I have a video that I did, I think it's a short uh, English word dictionary of the word Lord, and it explains the 868 um, symmetry of the word Lord, and that when you see these numbers in these buildings, you know that you are being impacted um, hypnotically and subliminally by the numbers by the, uh, that the architecture is designed for that. Uh, probably all these dimensions have that effect on you too. They're, we don't really realize how uh, sensitive we are as humans and what we're actually picking up on and, and how, um, what's being told to us subconsciously. But this would be a lordly manner and it actually has the, the 868 in front, which was very active. This number was very, very active with the stock market and everything else in August. All right, so here's the White House on the back of the $20 bill, and we also know that the $20 bill can be folded to show the Twin Towers coming down. And that would be a, a reference for today, 9-11, but also a 9-23 reference. All right, well, since the $20 bill was a little bit, was predictive of the 9-11 um, Twin Tower events, and Jonathan Click has apparently done a video about the new $100 bill here, shown here, showing um, a tidal wave coming through the the streets of New York that very similar to the scenes in the day after tomorrow and that movie is also very interesting they actually have 923 written on the wall in that movie and um, it's just coded again and again so what I wanted to just take a look at this bill in case this bill has some more clues about what's going about 923 so w when you're in here in Wikipedia or if you're in, in any article, they actually put the phrasing here perfectly for you in the gematria. So I grabbed this phrase independent hall and put it into the gematria. And I want you to sh see that this is the meridian. This is the, the heading. This is this heading that ISIS is sitting on right here, the 269th heading from the capital, from basically the bottom of the cross to the top. See the 269? one nine here um, and then I, I probably didn't do a precise measurement but it's one four one in miles so then there's also an 86 86 has been very active lately in in August and there's a 76 kind of wrapped around the outer edge of that that's they like to do this. and then we have a 44 and the 44, we've talked about the 44 heading from the Georgia Guidestones, uh, 44 having to do with the um, uh, Pope numbers. That's J.K. Um, um, 
Zachary, sorry, and Jay, I'm sorry if I've said that wrong a bunch of times. Zachary K. Hubbard's work about the Pope, um, the Pope's numbers. I haven't done that work myself. I was just quoting him. So that that would be the hundred, the 44 tie-in. So this this does say a lot about this bill being predictive of this time. Now Benjamin Franklin is on this bill, and here are these numbers. Benjamin Franklin, in um, first of all, if you if you look at his if you look at Benjamin Franklin in Wikipedia and you look at his signature, I think Benjamin Franklin put an E in his name, not an I, right here. So that would change the whole gematria. However, since he's a Freemason, they would have they would be writing his name correctly, you know, according to how they would fix the numbers. So I just wanted to show you that um, this is a number. This is a nine six. Again, we just talked about nine sixes, and nine fifteen is another form of a nine six. So Benjamin Franklin has the 33 version of the date 915. And if you can learn to flip these numbers around calendar-wise in your head, I know it's kind of it's unusual for us to do, but if you can learn to do that, that will be a good you, you will open your eyes to more connections. So this is 96. This is the opposite of 69. 69 that I just explained to you about the F and the R. This is the G. Um, this is the 7 7 5 Yeah, wait. Um, no, this is the 915, this is the end, but also the 196th day refers to uh, July 15th, which would actually was the start of Jade Helm. So it's a double, it's a mirror. They love these things. Well, what I want to say about the 196th day is that that refers to 715, which is the first two letters of God, the G and the O, because 7 is G and 15 is O. Then in the English geometry, he has a 918. So this would be like an IR. And then here, there's a there's a 18 and a 13 and just a few other things. Now I don't I I'm I'm a little bit curious about his numbers being predictive of his death, but I'm I'm not gonna worry about that right now. Let's go down to the English geometria here, the English and the simple, and look at these. So this matches Albert Einstein. Quetzalcoatl. Happy birthday. I don't think that might, that's probably not a good, nice thing to say to people. The Christians. Love you guys, Christians. I just want, I just want to free you from, from the programming. I don't think the Vatican and the Christian, the, the design of the Christian churches are, I don't think they're nice people. I think we can clearly follow the teachings of Yahshua and leave the whole church, you know, in the trash. So in this scene of this video, which is, the title is, Are There Hidden Messages in the New $100 Bill? And it says it's courtesy of Paul Joseph Watson from Prison Planet. They're, they're talking about that the bells ring. There's a bell strip here. And this this geometry right here is extremely precise. I don't know what it is, but they did they did this extremely precisely. And there's another bell here. So I guess this version has been out since 2009. And I just want to show you that this is what I would call a Venus gate because there's two zeros in the middle. And then this is a nine and an, and an 11. So it's a 911 Venus gate. So this is the other side of the $100 bill that uh, Jonathan Click says shows a missile hitting the ocean and creating the tidal wave that would flood New York. And I think that there is some astronomical information here too having to do with uh, this solar shape right there. Also, I haven't heard people talk about this, but when you fold these and they and they are predictive the, you would just want to look at this part of the word, this part, and this part, because when they show this in movies, when they show words cut off, there are special messages. That's the only way that they can really um, freestyle on the English language, you know, making, showing you words that don't make any sense is by putting a head in front of them or cutting them off the screen, but you still need to gematria them and figure out what they mean. So for example, UST that we just saw has the full degree of the circle and 60. And then this number, which we just saw 
um, get going the other way in Benjamin Franklin with the 933, the relationship between the 3 and the 9. So here are the associations with that. These, these are the associations that are affecting you subliminally when you see those things, whether you pay attention to them or not. I think the more that you actually pay attention to them, the more your conscious mind focuses on them, the less they affect you, the more you are viewing them critically. And that's why I draw this to your attention. So then over here we have, a, we have the, the partial word Rika. So let's look at that. Again, we have a, three, a 9 to a 3 just like in the Benjamin and just like in the UST that we saw. This is the phi number, the 618 or the 816 that I've been talking about. And that is what I consider to be a dome number. So it is interesting that Rika equals cash and bell because they put a bell on this cash. And it also equals CNN, which reminds me I was going to check to make sure you know, keep an eye on the channel to see what the news is going to be today. So on the right side here we have the partial word the you. So let's look at that. There's a 44 here. There is a a 63, which is which you can see this is also a 9. Do you see the 9, the 32, and the 923? Do you see all that in there? So this could be the date that they're talking about because these guys are very artful and they want they want to be audacious they think it's very uh, gentlemanly to warn you and to be audacious just to put it in your face and then if you don't see it that's your own fault so on the right hand side over here it looks uh, the other ones i didn't really see a date looks like there's a date right in the english gematria um, this number is a nine Let's go down here to the English Gematria. So all of this matches love, Islam, Gabriel, French, Oracle, Dalai Lama, Barak, to name a few. All right, well, I just want to close out this video with a quick look at the Vatican. I do want to do some um, more Google Earth work tying this to Washington DC and seeing what we see if, and seeing if we can learn anything. Um, but I'll do that in part three. Well, this line goes to um, South America. So we're going to have to find, um, we'll have to keep looking. All right. Well, I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.